My name's Elizabeth Hun and I'm a painter these days, artist painter these days. 43 years as being a nurse. Now I'm a painter and husband and I have a distillery. When I turned 50, I enrolled to do a landscape painting class for the first time. It was full and they suggested I did a portrait class instead. From the very first class, I was so excited and I knew that this was what I wanted to do. So then I just practised and practised and practised. These boats and the reflections in the bay are so beautiful in the afternoons. Who would have thought? <laughs> I love doing portraits because people's faces are so different. You know, we've all got eyes, nose and a mouth. But how they're put together on your face and how your muscles move show your character. I did a few portraits of, of different people and David and I went to the, up to the Archibalds one year, first time to go to the Archibalds, and I walked in and I thought, this is my dream. This is what I want to work towards. So I painted lots of different people and working towards painting doing a portrait for the Archibalds. To, to paint someone in the Archibalds, you, they, you have to do the painting from life. They need to sit for you, and they have to be an Australian. And I wanted to paint a Tasmanian. So I was spent a long time thinking about who, who would I paint? And that wasn't easy. And then when we started the distillery, I heard more and more about Bill Lark, and I thought, he's the one. He ticks all the boxes and He's done incredible things for the whole distillery industry and he's been so generous with all the people. I thought that, that's why I wanted to paint him because he's just so generous and kind. And he was thrilled. He was really thrilled about the whole idea. So that was wonderful. So I've, I've painted a portrait of Bill. I've painted three actually, a, a practice one that I gave him and then another one I've got and then a, a big one. I did it over several months because I wanted to capture the joy in his face when he was looking at this whiskey that it's incredible to taste and he's enabled it to happen. He got the federal laws changed so we could distill spirits in Australia. You've captured that wonderful contemplative joyous moment of trying a whiskey for the first time. And then we had a non-religious blessing of the painting with Bill's family and friends and my, well, our family. And we poured a little bit of this amazing classic whiskey on the frame, just so it was a olfactory experience as well as a visual experience. We did the blessing of the, the frame to wish it luck on its journey to Sydney. So then we packed it all up and we flew it up in oversized baggage to Sydney and went in the back door of the art, art gallery of New South Wales and it was very exciting. Didn't get accepted, but that was okay. There were 978 entries that year. I think it was their record and they only choose 30. But the whole journey was just so, so fantastic. I loved every bit of it.